Folks, Fernando doing another video for the more survivalists, and yeah, Ukraine is finally fighting back against Moscow. Now, this is uh, a different uh, strategy. The idea here is obviously to bring the war to Russia make people in Russia feel that, you know what, you're at war too. Up until this point, it was about this special operation elsewhere. We don't get involved. We let our little commie dictator Putin do whatever he wants, but we're not involved. Now, when these things start happening, when bombs start blowing around your own neighborhood, your own city, well, that puts a different twist to things. And I, I think it's so unfortunate. I think all of this is unfortunate and sad every time someone gets killed, injured, every time a bomb blows up in any, in any city, any town. I mean, the war itself is terrible. But this is something that was imposed on Ukraine by Russia. But up until this point, look at the size of that thing. Up until this point, people in Moscow, especially that upper class, that elite that used to live more integrated into the West, travel to Europe, travel to US, and you know, felt more, more comfortable about all of that. Now you're seeing the bombs blow in your own town. You're seeing your own buildings get hit. So the thing about drone attacks and, 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 and this sort of thing is, it's not so much the injuries and people that get killed, it is really uh, an effect on the entire population of, damn, we're getting bombed, we're getting shelled. Bombs are dropping in our cities, in our towns, in our neighborhoods. That's what's been happening to Ukraine for years now. And besides the, the loss of life is for the entire population, for millions of people, it's the, the, the stress the constant uh, living in fear, uh, all of this really degrades your will to fight or your will to attack. They were counting on degrading the will to fight of the Ukrainians by constantly attacking them day after day. That has obviously not been successful in which Ukrainians are just more determined not to give up to the Russian invasion. Now, on the other hand, if Russians feel that, well, this is no longer about special operation, this is no longer about having uh, some of the poorest territories send their uh, men and, and, and their sons to this insane war. No, it is now coming to us. This elite, this higher upper middle class or, or, or elites uh, living in, in, in the nicer neighborhoods of, of, of Moscow, now they're seeing this happening in their own communities. I think that's the idea behind an attack specifically on the upper end communities, on the, on the high end, uh, on the um, higher class neighborhoods that they did. Now, the reaction from uh, this for all over the world, well, we see here Russia accuses Ukraine of Moscow drone attack, and then Ukraine denies involvement in drone attack on Moscow, which is a right. They can deny everything they want. That's all perfectly fine. And then let's also read what, well, actual Russians are saying. This is from RT News. Remember, as I always say, Russia and former Soviet Union. They want to rebuild the former so the Soviet Union. That's why they remind you this is a former Soviet Union. It's, it's very interesting the way in which they, they have that in their headlines. Anyway, Kiev regime behind terror attack on Moscow. So now that you're getting just a little bit of what you've been doing to a country for years now, now it's a terrorist attack. When you were doing it, when you are still actively doing it, you bombing uh, cities across uh, Ukraine for, for years now, that is not terror. That is not uh, despicable and, and, and awful. No, it's now that you just got a, a couple bombs dropped on you that this is... Yeah, this is, this is a terrorist attack, right? Okay, so be it. Also interesting to read some of the other headlines. Top EU diplomat not optimistic about Ukraine peace prospects. Ukraine forced to import. So always, you know, trying to uh, have a certain uh, editorial line, which is expected. This is interesting. European gas prices could fall below zero. Well, that's because of the preparations for the winter that was a lot warmer than expected. So yeah, surplus of, of gas. You know, ironically enough, and it goes on the idea of, of U.S. imposing their LGBTQ laws you know, on others, which, yeah, a lot of that is actually true. It's also true that a lot of the LGBTQ left-wing climate activism and all of this, you know, 
cultural mar Marxism is financed by the former Soviet Union, Russia and China, interestingly enough, just to weaken their enemies. I just think it's unfortunate, but I think it's uh, necessary in maturing the process of this war, which will not end anytime soon. But the sooner Russians understand that they are also involved in this war and they also have you know, a, a dog in this fight or their own sons, daughters and their own lives in the fight, the sooner there's going to be more pressure against Putin to put a stop on this madness. Guys, that's basically the way I see it. Let me know what you think there in the comments below. As always, prepare because the world we live, as you clearly see, is quite unstable and not getting any better anytime soon. For that, you have the channel and you have my book, Surviving the Economic Collapse, Street Survival Skills, available in Amazon in the links there below. Take care.